Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. We are back for another video today and today we're gonna be rescuing something crazy. It's not a surprise, you already saw it in the thumbnail and in the title. We are rescuing an octopus today. More specifically, a Korean common octopus. These particular octopus are a delicacy in that specific culture. They are often sold and consumed, but today we're gonna get one of these guys and we're gonna try to give it a, a little bit better of a life. Well, actually a life at all. And we're gonna see if we can keep this guy alive in a saltwater set up so we're gonna get out and we are gonna rescue this octopus right now but before we do we need to go ahead and take a couple of tools with us number one we're gonna need a five gallon bucket that way we can transport this guy home we are gonna need uh, some salt water which we're gonna actually go and pick up we're also going to be taking a nice battery operated bubbler as well as we are gonna need a salinity tester because we have no idea what situation these guys are in I will tell you I did feel the water they're in super cold water and I'm assuming Assuming that they're in super cold water to keep them kind of under control so they don't try to escape because another thing octopus are like master escape artists they will get out of anything and everything you try to put them in so we are going to go ahead and head out and see if we can get one of these octopus let's get after this all right guys while we're here we're about to pick up this octopus so let's get in here and get it picked up We came, we found our octopus, and we are on our way home now. I'm thinking that we're gonna name this thing Oswald. Oswald. Maybe you get the reference, maybe you don't, but I think its name is gonna be Oswald. Let me know what you think. What should we name this thing? Down in the comments or right now. But let's go ahead and get this thing into this bucket and get it home. Do you see this, guys? Do you see this? That is an octopus. One of the most intelligent creatures on the face of the planet, and we have one. Not only do we have one, but we saved it from being eaten. Now granted, I have no problems with eating any kind of animal. I am not a vegetarian, I am not a vegan, but I got an opportunity to pick this guy up and I saved him from being eaten. So we're gonna try to give him the absolute best life that we possibly can. Well, we are currently acclimating him because he is coming from 60 degree water, but we don't wanna stress this guy out too much. So we're gonna go ahead and cover him back up because as you know, they are super escape artists, or maybe you don't. But there we go, this guy is good. We will continue to acclimate him in this bucket. All right, guys, well, it is the next day, and we wanna take a look and just see how this guy is doing. Gonna turn this off and just see if we can find him in here. He is going to be completely hidden. Do we see him right down here? He is just hanging out, looks good. There he is right there, and he is going to find himself a new hiding place because I've just uncovered him. What the what? They like the rocky area, and watch him. He's going to find his way. Look at that. He's doing so well. Look at him sliding his tentacles all up underneath there, and there he goes. He's getting his body just crunched. Look at that. What an amazing creature, guys. I cannot believe that I got this thing from a market. An actual like market, he was gonna be eaten. I don't disagree with people eating animals. I have no problem with that. But this thing is an amazing creature and I wanna try to keep it alive. This is great guys. So we need to go ahead and get him a permanent home. He's fully acclimated to the environment. This is all live rock. It has beneficial bacteria in it. We are obviously aerating the water with the bubbler. I have this lid kind of thing sat on here with the rocks on it to keep this thing from getting out because they are escape artists. And there is no way, this is about 15, 20 pounds worth of rock right here. There's no way he's gonna be able to lift this lid off of here and get out. But this thing is fully portable as it does have a battery operated bubbler on it. Been bubbling all night long, fully acclimated, fully ready to go into a permanent setup. So let's go ahead and get this guy into a permanent setup. All right, so this thing is about three quarters of the way full with some fresh water. Well, since this thing is a freshwater octopus, let's go ahead and get it in there. I'm just kidding. We need to go ahead and get salt in this water and get it mixed up, get the salinity right. We have a massive wave maker on that side moving water this direction. 
We're gonna put one move in that direction. All right, we're gonna go ahead and dechlorinate this with some of our favorite dechlorinator, and that is API Stress Coat Plus. We're gonna drop this stuff right in here. Get a little extra since we're doing a new setup. <laughs> guys well we have mixed all of our salt into our water which is fantastic and now we're gonna go ahead and check our salinity perfect exactly where we want to be so for this setup I wanted to have a sandy bottom and what I'm gonna use is some of this live sand which actually has beneficial bacteria already in it and we're just gonna drop this stuff right in here and honestly this octopus is probably going to really want a sandy bottom as this is the type of place that they live. For filtration, we're actually going to be using a sponge filter. And this sponge filter will actually filter up to 80 gallons. This is a big one. And I sell these on my website at freshwaterscrub.com. In fact, use the code OCTOPUS for 10% off all your orders, live plants, merchandise, sponge filters, everything. So I'm gonna put this right here for right now, just right there, but sponge filters, I've read all kinds of subreddits, I've watched all kinds of YouTube videos, people actually use sponge filters in their salt water setup, so we're gonna give it a go and see what happens. There's obviously live sand down in the bottom, we're actually gonna add some live rock to this as well, but I just wanted to kind of talk about that for a second, so let's go ahead and get some live rock structures in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and put some rock in here like this right here, just kind of sitting this stuff up, just there's our little guy right there, if you can see that down there. He was hiding up under the rock, so we're gonna take some of these rocks and set up a structure in here as well. All right, guys, well, this thing is done with the exception of the fact it's kind of cloudy. So we're gonna let this sit and kind of settle down a little bit. But in the meantime, we are taking this dude, Oswald, on an adventure. It is time to go on a little bit of a field trip. So I wanna introduce Oswald to somebody. There's nothing better than a battery operated bubbler because it allows us to go on field trips with fish. I can't believe it. Here we go. All right, Oswald, you ready? All right, let's go, Oswald. Oh my gosh. How you doing? Oh. I would like to introduce you to none other than Oswald. Dear Not Darmetrius. No, no, this is Oswald. And, and you really can't see Oswald. <gasps> oh! he, he's super cool. If you guys want to go on to see, you know, an octopus from a food market, this would be the one to watch. Y'all can just watch his. Why can't they watch yours? Or we took ours back. He's right here. I just saw him in the bucket. Like, what's wrong with him? Dylan. Why does it? Why does he smell like that? Okay, well then let's go. Well, back to, we'll, we'll go back to Chris's octopus then. Um, um. <laughs> hey Oswald, do you enjoy meeting Brenton? No, Chris, he was kind of a. Okay, let's not be mean, Oswald. Let's go ahead and get him into his brand new setup. Did you, did you see this thing? Did you see this thing? So just to drop a little more knowledge on you about octopus, did you know that they actually don't have eight legs? They only have two legs, two legs, six arms, two legs that they can actually walk on. I mean, look at this right here. That's crazy, right? Who would have thought that? So anyway, 
Hopefully you guys went on to enjoy this video today. We're actually gonna be feeding this octopus live crabs in the next video, so make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook. Links to both are down below. Comment down below as well and let us know what do you think about the name. Oswald is going to be it for sure. I'm pretty sure, but just let me know. But with that, guys, thank you so very much for watching the video, and hey, we will see you next time.